wonderful. I haven't seen you for a while. We were just talking about you. Okay, two years ago, if you'd been on this tour, this was our sponsor. We were down in that old Senate chamber. I said, hey, Michelle, why don't you say some, you know, talks. She gets up. She says, hey, y'all are, she looked at me. She said, can we pray, Rick? I said, of course we pray. She said, you're about to be led in prayer by a member of Congress in the United States Capitol. This lady drops on her knees right there in front of that whole tour, led us in prayer for I don't know how long. Every one of us were bawling like babies by the time she was done. That's the kind of leader she is. It was, it was my favorite. Spirit. It was my favorite moment of all tours we've ever been on. That's how great she is. We love you, Michelle. Oh, anyway, I have to tell a story on you. So. Well, so let's, Michelle? Do it, let's do it right now. What was that? Let's do it right now. Father, we thank you that we are free men and free women. And not just because we live in this country, but because we know you. Father, it is you that makes us free. Because when a man or a woman is free in Jesus Christ, they are free indeed. And so, Father, you say in your word, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Father, we proclaim liberty in the land. I ask for liberty for every soul that's here tonight. That if they don't know you, that people will, that any man or woman will confess their sins before you and cry out to you and receive Jesus Christ into their heart, even right now, Father, and be saved eternally and go to heaven and live with you forever. So I pray for salvation tonight, but we also pray for salvation for this land. And Father, as things just seem like they're coming down around us financially, Lord, on the national security area, on every possible way, with families, Lord, we lift it up to you because you are the God of the possible. Nations have fallen before you, but yet you you raise them up. As the book of Daniel says, you are the most high God. Lord, you take down who you will, and you lift up who you will. We ask that on behalf of our nation, Father. We ask that on behalf of the church in America, Father, that you would strengthen the church, that you'd raise up godly pastors, and Father, that the gospel would be preached from one corner of this nation to another. We thank you, Father, for Jesus, and we thank you for the gospel. And I pray for these ministries. I thank you for the legacy of Dr. D. James Kennedy. I thank you for wall builders. Father, would you lift these ministries up? Would you flood them with the funds, flood them with the grace, flood them with everything that they need, Father, the strongest ministries we have. Strengthen them even more now in the name of Jesus. So, Father, go with each of these men and women tonight. Build them up in your most holy faith, Father. And I thank you for answering our prayer, and I thank you for your mercy and grace. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Am